American model, actress, and celebrity wife. Nicole Ronette Mitchell Murphy is perhaps best known as the ex-wife of comedian Eddie Murphy. But since her divorce has been gaining a reputation as a homewrecker, Nicole's ageless beauty afforded her a lucrative career as a catwalk model in the 80s and certainly gained her the attention of many male celebrities, even after having five children with her ex-husband. A simple reminder how to enter our brand new giveaway. We will be giving away either iPhone Max, iPad Mini, or MacBook Pro. It's really your choice. All you have to do is watch the full video, leave a like, comment the keyword hidden in the video, subscribe, and turn on notifications to enter the giveaway. It's really that simple. The retired model is still able to maintain her seductive figure and certainly doesn't look like your average grandmother. Nicole is known for being a fitness guru dedicated to preserving her charms and is also a reality TV star who appeared in Hollywood X's as well as Global Beauty Masters. The 52-year-old mother of five has been separated from Eddie for nearly 15 years, almost as long as she had been married to the successful comedian and actor. And although both of them have moved on with their lives and found new partners, they have remained on friendly terms for the sake of their family. Their marriage had been one of Hollywood's most expensive, and at the time, they were among the most adored couples on the red carpet. However, despite her good relations with Murphy, Nicole has not been afraid of causing upsets and creating scandals, which, according to some reports, had been a concern for her ex-husband. They may have been the glam world's leading example of good parenting despite a separation, but Eddie made claims that Nicole's behavior has negatively affected both the public image and their family. This followed, of course, after the rumors surfaced which suggested that Nicole had been involved in several adulterous affairs. In truth, Eddie's reaction seems ironic since he himself has a reputation for being promiscuous and involved in possible adultery. How true all of the rumors are remain to be confirmed. But in spite of all her romantic endeavors, most people will still consider Eddie Murphy as both the best and worst thing to ever happen to her. Nicole met Eddie at the 1988 NAACP Image Awards show, where she undoubtedly bedazzled the comedian with her feminine charms. However, at the time, Eddie was a rising star and stand-up comedian who had been involved with several women. In the mid-80s, it was rumored that he was involved with Whitney Houston, but their relationship was never confirmed. Eddie seemed to have moved in on Nicole, but the relationship hadn't been of a very serious nature. Then, in 1989, Nicole gave birth to Eddie's oldest daughter, Bria. But in July that same year, another of Eddie's girlfriends, Paulette McNeely, gave birth to his oldest son, Eric. A year later, the comedian connected with Tamara Hood, who gave birth to Eddie's third child and second son, Christian, in November 1990. Despite the promiscuous reputation that Murphy had made for himself, Nicole still decided to marry the man, and they tied the knot in 1993. In 1991, Nicole had moved in with Eddie, and they would live together for two years following Murphy's fathering spree. During this time, it seemed as if Eddie's lustful, adventurous behavior had died down, and he appeared to be faithful to his partner. Their wedding ceremony would become one of the most expensive in Hollywood, and was the talk of Tinseltown for some time. Eddie spared no expense to impress his soon bride-to-be. Everything from the dress to the cake and even the venue was a luxurious extravagance. The short ceremony that only lasted 16 minutes was held in New York at the Grand Ballroom of the Plaza Hotel on the 18th of March. Nicole walked down the aisle serenaded by Eddie's song, Don't Give Up On Love, which he recorded on his album, Love's All Right. Her dress was an exquisite creation made from white silk, satin with French Ellen Con lace and rosettes. Her veil and incredibly long train featured Bulgarian embroidery decorated with expensive Austrian pearls and crystals. The ceremony was held in front of 500 guests, and in true Eddie Murphy fashion, when asked if there were any objections from the witnesses, he glared over the audience, much to the laughter of the people. After exchanging rings and vows, they left the ceremony to Whitney Houston's I'm Every Woman playing in the background. Bria, who was four years old when her parents married, was a flower girl at the wedding. Their memorable day is estimated to have cost anything up to $1.5 million, with the wedding cake alone costing about $25,000. For a time, everything seemed rosy and fair between the newlyweds, especially after they celebrated their first anniversary with a stylish visit to Jamaica. In November 1993, only a few months after their marriage, Nicole gave birth to their son they named Miles, Eddie's fourth child and second son. 
As time passed and their relationship remained stable, Nicole produced their third child in October 1994, Eddie's third daughter, Shane Audra. However, in 1997, it appeared that Eddie had been unfaithful to his wife. When in bizarre circumstances, Eddie's scandalous behavior and after-hour activities were made public. He was pulled over by police in West Hollywood and found in the company of a transgender female who had been under suspicion for prostitution. Murphy was released free of any charges as officers were able to incriminate him, but his companion at the time was arrested on an outstanding warrant. Eddie later claimed that he was simply giving her a ride home, but the media didn't buy that one. Although, luckily for him, Nicole found it possible to forgive him and didn't file for divorce. Instead, they would remain together for years to come and produced two more children, namely Zola Ivy and Bella Zara. Sadly though, divorce was probably inevitable. And in 2006, Murphy announced that they were separating. In a statement released by his representative, Eddie assured everyone that his children would remain the priority in his life and their welfare would be of the utmost importance. The only reason given for their divorce was irreconcilable differences. In the divorce settlement, Nicole was granted $15 million, finalized without any difficulties or delays. They were officially divorced on the 17th of April, after being together for 17 years, of which they were married for 13. Following the divorce, Nicole's life hasn't been the easiest. Despite the considerable sum from the divorce settlement, her finances took a turn for the worst. Not long after the separation from Eddie, a lifelong friend, Troy Stratos, offered to help her invest her money, but swindled her out of $10 million and the mortgages of both her and her mother's houses, which totaled another million dollars. Troy was found guilty of fraud in 2016, but in the meantime, the mother of five was left stranded, trying to recover financially from her loss. In an attempt to restore things, Nicole started several business ventures, which included a beauty product line and fashion jewelry. However, while in the midst of a financial struggle, the former model still had the time to find romantic interests. In 2007, Nicole was spotted on vacation with basketball all-star Michael Jordan in Los Cabos, Mexico. Like Nicole, Jordan had recently divorced from his wife Juanita Vanoy. After pictures of Jordan and Michelle were made public, the media raised questions on whether they might be seeing each other. Michael's representatives stated that they do not speak about his personal life, and the two neither denied nor confirmed the status of their relationship. Jordan has since married Cuban-American model Yvette Pietro, whom it was stated he met in 2007. Later in 2007, Nicole was caught with the Prime Minister of Turks and Caicos, Michael Misik, who at the time was a married man. Misik's wife, actress Lisa Ray McCoy, publicly accused Nicole of having an affair with her husband and also said that he cheated on her with several other celebrity women. McCoy's sister, Debrat, would later confirm that the two did have a supposedly secret affair, although it is still being questioned and considered by some to be false. Reports that Nicole was later caught with another married man surfaced, which might reveal more about her than some would think. In 2008, Nicole started dating the host of The Good Morning America show, Michael Strand. It was reportedly her longest relationship since her marriage with Eddie Murphy turned sour. In 2009, Michael Strand proposed and things seemed to have a better lookout for Nicole following her financial strain and the apparent scandal she was caught in. However, in 2014, the engagement was called off. Both parties said that they were cheated on, but there was only evidence that supported Strand's claims. During the course of their relationship, Nicole was spotted enjoying an intimate vacation with NBA All-Star Jimmy Jackson. Photos were published showing Nicole and Jimmy snuggled up together on a beach in Puerto Rico. But following this apparently failed romance, Nicole was spotted later in 2015 with Nick Cannon, after being seen together on several occasions in various locations. Rumors that they were dating started going round. However, during a later interview, Nicole denied these claims and said that they were just friends. She was also associated with musician Drake at one point, following her appearance in the commercial for Drake's Virginia Black Whiskey. Rumors floated around that they might be dating. Considering Drake's interest in older ladies, it would not have surprised anyone. And after he attended her 50th birthday, rumors really got heated. However, there was no confirmation, except that Nicole openly admitted that she would date Drake if the opportunity ever arose, but which never came. No confirmation about a relationship with Drake was ever announced, and seemingly they were only friends. In July of 2019, Nicole was caught once more in an apparent scandal with a married man. 
While on vacation to Italy, photographers captured pictures of her kissing director Antoine Fuqua. He has been married to actress Leila Rochon for nearly 20 years, but this didn't seem to prevent intimacy between him and Nicole. Fuqua and Rochon said their vows in 1999, but Rochon has since come forward with claims that he had cheated on her with several celebrity women and publicly accused Nicole of being one of them. Rochon's sister, Debrat, later confirmed that Nicole and Antoine had had a supposedly secret affair, but in several interviews, Nicole continuously attempted to brush the scandal under the carpet, first by claiming it was a friendly hello kiss that she shared with him, then later saying she'd been told that Fuqua and Rochon were separated. The affair gained public notice really quickly, but taking to social media, Antoine accused Nicole of setting him up. He said that the meeting was arranged and that she called the paparazzi and told them to be on locale when they kissed. However, the media never believed either party's claims and continued to spread the rumors about their alleged affair. At a later point, Eddie Murphy was also said to get involved in voicing his opinion. Allegedly, the comedian claimed that he was embarrassed by his ex-wife's behavior and that she shamed both their public image and their family, telling the former model that she should publicly apologize for what she had done. In a later appearance on The Wendy Williams Show, Nicole admitted to the affair, saying that she should have known that it was wrong and that it was something she regrets. She also publicly apologized to Rochon and her family. Nicole has since then decided to turn her attention to being a good grandmother. Her and Eddie's son, Miles Mitchell, welcomed a daughter in the summer of 2019, who is known by the name Evie. Thank you for spending some time with us. Make sure to like and subscribe so you never miss another video. We also handpick these videos which we recommend you watch next. You can talk to us on all social medias or ask a question in the comments below. Thank you for being with us and we'll see you back tomorrow.